Welcome to this FG guy. The 750 subs contest from Steve at all the world is a stage. Here are the rules. You can do number one and qualify for a $50 Amazon gift card. Or you can do both and have two chances to win another $50 card. Yes, the same person has a chance to win all $100. 1. Post a video where you heat praise on me and say why you think Sam is a one-trick pony. 2. Within that video, perform a song, poem, dance, spoken word, whatever you want, explaining why I should stop sending VCLT to Sam. This will be judged by me based upon your creativity and originality. Here is my entry. Today, we discuss two titans of the vinyl community, Steve from All the World is a Stage and Sam St. John. Here, I will give you many of the reasons why Steve from All the World is a Stage is better than Sam St. John. You are not going to believe all of the reasons in this video. Please pay attention to all of the reasons in this video. I am particularly fond of reason number two. There are seven reasons in this video. Here is the first of all of the reasons. As I mentioned, you are going to want to watch all of the reasons that I am presenting in this video to understand why Steve from All the World is a Stage will get all of my praise and Sam St. John will get none of my praise. Here is the first of seven reasons. Reason number one, and one of my favorite reasons, is that Steve from All the World is a Stage is very predictable in his vinyl community videos. Sam St. John often lets us all down by surprising us with things you do not expect. Just the other day, he showed a box set from The Who, and I never really expected that. It was really disorienting and so 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 unexpected. In the vinyl community, I prefer to know what I am getting, and with Steve from All the World is a Stage, we always know what we are getting. You can count on Steve from All the World is a Stage to talk about Deep Purple or make another Tommy Ballin video or go on and on about Velvet Insane or Golden Earring or Blue Oyster Cult. Give me predictability any day over Sam St. John's random chaos. This was a really good reason, but there are more reasons. Just wait until I cover all of the reasons in this video. Moving on from reason number one, we come to reason number two, which is another really good reason. I almost put this as reason number one but I think it fits here as reason number two. The second reason is that Steve from All the World is a Stage would never stoop so low as to sing and play the guitar on his YouTube channel just to get subscribers and likes from the vinyl community. He is far too understanding of his subscribers. Sam St. John, on the other hand, really does sing and play the guitar and it all seems so desperate. How many times can Sam St. John follow this strategy before everyone gets bored? On a personal note, I am always stressed out watching Sam St. John perform worrying that he will miss a note or break a guitar string. I never have that issue with Steve from All the World is a Stage, because his content is all very stable and in pretty much the same format. So we can all relax and just enjoy his videos without any fears of innovation or surprise. Of all of the reasons, this was one of my favorites. But, there are more reasons, as you will see. Moving on to the third reason, which might surprise you. Sam St. John has never even tried to keep up with Chris Propf's video output, whereas Steve from All the World is a Stage was totally committed to that strategy. As a result, Steve from All the World is a Stage gave us an abundance of content to watch and he kept us updated on his progress very 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 often. We always knew how many videos Steve from All the World is a Stage had made. Sam St. John has never spoiled his viewers with too much content which means we can get through his new uploads maybe too efficiently. With Steve from All the World is a Stage, we all got to know him much better because we had no other choice but to watch an almost endless stream of content. And now, we move on to Reason 4. Reason 4 might seem like it is the opposite of Reason 3, but it is different, as you will see. Steve from All the World is a Stage has always kept us wanting more. For example, he teased the vinyl community with a few episodes of spin on this and then he was clearly confident enough to throw it in the trash can just as it was becoming popular. Only someone with massive self-confidence could attempt such a scheme. Of course, when spin on this was running, Steve from All the World is a Stage was more concerned with having a good time than capitalizing on the popularity of some of his guests. These guests were the cream of the vinyl community crop. He certainly was not using his guests to increase his own subscriber count and likes. And now for some other reasons, starting with reason number 5. For reason 5, I will mention two of the bravest aspects of Steve from All the World is a Stages channel. For the first part of reason 5, 
We now know that Steve from all the world is a stage is comfortable with criticism of his filing system. He broke with tradition and files his records by the artist's first name. Who else among us can claim to be such an iconoclast? A second part of his music system is his much talked about spreadsheet. For the second part of reason five, Sam St. John does not even know how many times he has listened to his records and compact discs. Imagine that, Steve from all the world is a stage, on the other hand, takes great pride in fastidiously recording his every listen and even telling us all about his spreadsheet. He is so considerate, he even devoted an entire video to his spreadsheet. I wonder what else is on that spreadsheet? Nudge nudge, wink wink. Go Steve from all the world is a stage. You are the man. And now, we move on to a really important reason. The next reason is reason 6. For reason 6, I will mention something very curious about Steve from all the world is a stage's channel. What other host in the vinyl community would start a tag knowing full well that almost no one would take part in it? Here, I am talking about the Tommy Ballin tag. Most people do not even know who Tommy Ballin is, and yet, Steve from All the World is a Stage started a tag about Tommy Ballin. That is brave, what Kajons, there is just one more reason, which is reason number 7. For reason number 7, we can see that Steve from All the World is a Stage speaks slowly enough that you can, if you like, watch his videos at 1.25, or 1.5, 1.75, or even double speed and never miss a word. But, watching at regular speed is excellent listening practice for anyone studying English. So, thank you Steve from All the World is a Stage for talking slowly enough that English learners can benefit from it. And now we are done with all of the reasons why Steve from All the World is a Stage is worthy of praise and Sam St. John is a one-trick pony. I hope you liked all of the reasons in this video. They were all good reasons and I think you will agree that I am correct. And so finally we have come to what I will describe as the more academic component of this presentation. A segment I am entitling VC Obsession, a case study. Steve, the dictionary.com definition of obsession is as follows. The state of being obsessed with someone or something. To help illustrate this point, dictionary.com includes this quotation. She cared for him with a devotion bordering on obsession. Let us use that as a framework for the rest of this presentation. Because as I see it, there are three components to this problem. Number one, too much VCLT being sent from Steve to Sam. Number two, too many shout outs. And number three, I will characterize as delusions. So let us have a look at all the VCLT that Steve has sent to Sam. Here we have a list of all the episodes in which Sam received a gift from Steve. So. Not only did he have to confront the box sitting on his doorstep, he had to go onto his channel, open the box, describe the content of the box, praise Steve for sending the box to him, and then begging people to subscribe to Steve's channel. The burden on his mental state must have been unbearable. Number two, let's talk about shoutouts and what I will consider to be stalking. 
Now here's just one example of a very long shutout. It went on for at least an hour or two on a live stream. But let's not forget that there was a period of time in which Steve shouted out Sam's channel in every video he made. It was a regular thing and it was very important to him. Finally, we move to the issue of delusions. Here we have a case of a person impersonating the object of their affections. And I think, you know, that may be okay in isolation, but combined with the other two things, I think we have a problem. My solution is, number one and foremost, is stop sending VCLT to Sam. And I think once that happens, the other two things will fall in line. If it doesn't work, I think what we have is a situation where Steve will need to seek professional help, or we could run a VC intervention. Now, ideally that would happen in person, but uh, the distance might be a problem, so I can see maybe a live stream intervention with Steve. So Steve, that's my reason for you to stop sending VCLT to Sam. I hope you get on that. So in conclusion, I would like to say thank you for watching this presentation, especially Steve, thank you for your patience. And uh, normally I would say go and subscribe to Steve's channel if you haven't already done so, but I'm gonna leave that out today. I don't think we should say that. Uh, maybe you should subscribe to Sam's channel. That's another possibility. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.